If life gives you lemons, you make a lemonade. Hello, Rome. My first time trying spritz. Somebody. First thing we will do on your birthday will beat you. He said I would make a perfect Indian housewife. Wow. <laughs> I set goals for the new year of my life. It will even uh, indeed the relationships between each other. Buongiorno everyone! It's a special day today for me as I have my birthday and I'm already so happy that it's such a sunny and a beautiful day. It's a real gift for me. And uh, I really love this park. So I've decided to spend my morning here to have a walk and to drink some tea. I usually run here every single morning, but for my birthday, I'm not working out. <laughs> and I haven't celebrated my birthday for around three or four years because I was always busy with something. But then I remembered that many, many years ago I had a dream to celebrate my birthday in Italy. And now I live in Italy, so I can't miss this opportunity to celebrate here with my friends. So later this evening my friends are coming here and we're organizing a small picnic. And it's gonna be very international, so I'm really happy because I really love being in international atmosphere and we're also gonna cook different food of different countries because my friends from India, Syria are coming and also some Italians and yeah look what a beautiful day we have you know guys several days ago i came to milan from rome i was never supposed to go to rome uh, and i had a ticket from florence to milan but when i came to the train station i saw the schedule of the trains and it said that in order to go to milan i need to go to the platform 10 so I went to that platform, there was a train, I got on this train and only after some time I realized that it was a train to Rome and when I said that to the personnel, they said that the train wouldn't stop till Rome. It was a fast train to Rome. I told them that I really need to get off because I have a ticket to Milan, but they said it was impossible. I cried a little bit because I was so desperate. There were no trains from Rome to Milan that day because it was very late in the evening. So I had to book a room in a hotel for one night in Rome and I had very unexpected adventures in Rome. You know, I think that it's true what they say, that all the roads lead to Rome eventually. <laughs> Well, if life gives you lemons, you make a lemonade, right? So I spent a really nice day in Rome, walking in the streets of an empty city. Wow, look at this. Oh, everything is blooming. I love spring in Italy. So I published some pictures from Rome and some people started to hate me, saying that Alina, now it's impossible to travel in Italy and saying that I have to stay home and I can't even go outside of my room and my house. If we think about viruses, it's actually always dangerous to go outside because anyone can be sick or have any viruses, not only Corona. So does it mean that we never have to get outside our houses? What if it's our new reality and we just have to adapt to it? In the comments write what's the situation like in your country and enough about this. Now I'm going for food shopping in order to prepare everything for the evening. So arrived home and the first guest is here. He's already 
cooking <laughs> Indian food and we're gonna prepare Indian, Russian food. We start with Indian chapati or roti. Yeah, roti. What's but the difference? So if you go to urban cities, they will make all chapati mm -hmm. uh, and roti is so Indian name. Mm -hmm. Remind me to put salt this time. Okay. Bon appetito. Ahoy. See you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Indian food is coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, for chapati, we put flour, salt, and water. Like this. Master Chef. Wow. <laughs> This is so cool! Yeah, that's the art of fun. Wow! If your chapati didn't go like this, you are not a good cook. Ah. Nice. Yeah. Wow! Oh. Good! <laughs> he said I would make a perfect Indian housewife. Yeah. Yeah! Am I wrong? Look at her. Look chapati. at her chapati. Okay. Ah! Please help me find it. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's already started burning. <laughs> no, no, no. See, see the fast My learner. My chapati is burned. No, it's okay. You are a fast learner. This is your first time, and you. Oh, <laughs> this thing is not good. <laughs> and I'm gonna prepare Russian blinis, which is like French crepes, but those are Russian blinis. My first time trying apero, no, spritz. If you celebrate in Italy, you have spritz. Yep, Italian, Indian food, Russian food, and Italian food. Did you cook it? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Jacopo. Oh, hey, ciao. 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 <laughs> He's gonna oh. drink your apparel. No, 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 no. It's um, basically the same as Piadina. Can you try it? The Piadina? Mm -hmm. Piadina, yeah. Russian food, blinis, and zgushonka. This is Italian condensed milk. I don't know if it's good or not. It's good. Yeah? Really? Yeah. Do you swear? I swear. <laughs> is this your first time trying the Russian food? It's exactly my first time. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> it's super lovely. So? Mm? It's good. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah, even I don't want to talk right now, I want to just eat it. <laughs> what do you do in India for birthday? How do you celebrate it? First thing we will do on your birthday, we will beat you. It's just a very yeah, a weird way or our way of wishing birthday. So you know, it's an birthday. Indian tradition to beat each other no, on no, birthday? No, it's not, of course, not Indian tradition. It's just a teenager tradition. Beat him. What do you do in Italy for birthday? Get drunk. Get drunk? Usually, yeah. <laughs> what else? Nothing else. <laughs> you celebrate with your friends and get drunk. And yeah. with pizza? Uh, yeah, you can. How do you celebrate your birthday in Syria? Well, as usual, like uh, most probably they will do it at cafes, restaurants or bars and they make it as a surprise, so mm -hmm. they just surprise their friends or co-workers. Most probably like the girlfriend gonna surprise the boyfriend. <laughs> most they bring some gifts and even if not, so when you came, it's already a gift for, for the one who got the birthday because he will appreciate that he he's loved by somebody and it will even uh, indeed the relationships between each other. Some people say that they hate their birthdays because there is no point to celebrate that you are getting old. But I think that it's such a nice day because 
uh, many people remember that you exist <laughs> and they start telling you wishes and you know you never have time to call your friends or sometimes even family and just to say that you love them but this day somehow everyone finds time to call you so it's a really nice day what do you think Nandan? it's a very good excuse to call friends family reminds you that okay we miss you we love you and uh, to have fun with friends for me <laughs> it's just an excuse for party and nothing else yeah excuse to party and together with your friends and family and to say how much you love the person exactly and for every birthday i have a tradition to set new goals it's not a new year but i set goals for the new year of my life sometimes when i read my goals from the previous year i get upset but now i realize that the only th <laughs> you shouldn't compare yourself to other people like there is girl who has made one million dollar business another girl who has built a big family or another guy who is a three million followers blogger but you don't know exactly what is happening in their lives and what they have except that business or except that family so the only person that you should compare yourself to is you from the previous year and what new things you have achieved and when you start doing that your life becomes less stressful and more happy <laughs> continue la festa with my flatmates from Moldova and Italy Agurissimi, dai. Vai. Yeah.